morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. So, <laughs> today's word, boys and girls, is wanton endangerment. So, the cop in the Breonna Taylor case got charged with wanton endangerment, nothing else. So, of course, this block sparked off riots, and of course, Louisville, Seattle, of course, L.A., of course, Chicago, of course, the usual suspects, usual places, right? <clears throat> Well, in Louisville, Kentucky, um, a young man, uh, Lorenzo Johnson, was accused of shooting two cops. Guess what he got charged with, ladies and gentlemen? You guessed it. Wanton endangerment. An assault on a police officer, of course. <clears throat> so when I, I saw this, I, I sat back and I was like... Is this just like a thing they do in Louisville? If you shoot somebody, and he clearly shot these cops. It wasn't a mistake. These cops were clearly marked. They were wearing their uniform, their vest. One cop has already returned to work. Uh, the other one suffered a gut wound, which if you know anything about bulletproof vests, you say right along the navel, right? So when you sit down, it comes all the way down. But if, you, if it covers up your entire uh, gut area, you wouldn't be able to sit down. So that's why they're made like they are. But they charged a young man with wanton endangerment. And my first thought was, why not attempt at murder? Why assault on a police officer not attempt at murder? I mean, the evidence is there. The cops identified him. They've taken him into custody. But it's just wanton enda endangerment. And it's like assault on an officer even the Brianna Taylor thing you could say the same thing right <clears throat> at least manslaughter because I was always taught that you're responsible for your rounds until they stop you're responsible for where they go so I kind of get both sides of it a lot of mistakes were made in that case and I'm gonna cover that probably in a later video once I get the full scope of everything but from what I can see right now mistakes were made on all sides so <clears throat> But the whole, back to the one-time endangerment and back to what's going on now. You see it's escalated, right? In Louisville, Kentucky, they arrested a lawmaker who was participating with the rioters. So you're out here, you're a lawmaker, you're supposed to be a responsible adult, you're supposed to be looking out for the whole community. That's your job. What are you doing? You're out here with rioters and protesters. And they're taking over streets and burning things down. Now if you look, remember in the first beginnings of this, uh, People were getting surrounded in their cars and they were getting beat up. Remember the one guy in Provost, Utah? Stopped for rioters. They surrounded his car, shot into the car, shot him in the car. So now people are seeing this. Remember Austin, Texas, uh, where the one, one young man was approached by a guy with a, a rifle, so he fired, uh, killing the guy. So and they made this big deal for a couple of days about how great the uh, the guy that got shot was and it turns out he really wasn't oh he's a veteran didn't even make it past I think AIT AIT is advanced individualized training for those of you who don't know <clears throat> but this is just kind of the narrative now this is the narrative is escalating escalating but I'll cover that in a later show I want to get back to the wanton endangerment wanton endangerment it's when you irresponsibly or negligently discharge your firearm or place somebody else in danger. I think it's a Class C felony. It's not really that big a felony. But that seems to be what they're charging everybody with. Now, you try to kill two cops. And if all you get hit with is assault on a police officer and wanton endangerment, you're not setting a good precedent as lawmakers, as judges, you know? The, uh, or it's the prosecutor. I think it's the prosecutor's job, right? Even with the, the case with the cops, they say the boyfriend shot first. Like I said, I don't really like to get into it because I don't have all the details. But you have to know where your rounds are going and you have to know what your target is. You can't just start shooting. I get people panic in gunfights. It happens. Could have been the cops' first gunfight. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do that in a whole separate video. But the wanton endangerment... I'm sorry, Louisville, Kentucky. You got to set a harder precedent, a harder standard.
Because what's about to happen, it's already happening. People are assassinating or attempting to assassinate cops. And there's always some dumbass young black man who's throwing his life away. Because <clears throat> now your life is thrown away. You're not going to get that government job now. Mm, probably not. Well, he probably wasn't a candidate for law school anyway, so... But you throw your life away out here chasing these, um, I don't want to say policies because they are policies, that lawmakers and these people that keep bailing y'all out, Bloomberg, Harris, Biden, uh, Soros, they're not going to care after the elections, especially if Trump's win, they're going to they're gonna kick you guys to the curb. So I just wanted to put that out there, the wonton endangerment. So not only did the cop get charged with one-time endangerment, but a this uh, Lorenzo Johnson, who allegedly shot two police officers, was charged with the same thing. So it kind of balances out. I mean, it's really, really weird. I, I didn't get it. I just wanted to put it out to you guys. What do you guys think about the charge of one-time endangerment as a primary charge? Because that seems to be what's going on in Louisville, which probably explains why they have so much chaos in their city. So... Thank you for watching this episode of The Dan Dawson Show. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, I'm going to do another video real quick. So I'll see you in a minute. Oh, also hit like and subscribe. Do what you got to do.